<laughs> oh, it's spanky. Especially when you're a grown man, you still carry that nickname. I got rid of my nickname though. I, I stopped people from calling me my nickname. Cause it just like, man, I'm too. Like, I think that when I was about, when I was about 22, it was just about 23. It was just feeling weird, man. Like I'm a grown man. Call me by my name, man. Call me some bunky baby. That was my nickname. Like, man, that shit don't sound right at 23, bro. <laughs> oh man, then you look in there and say, oh nigga. <laughs> what, was, what was yours, Bucket Baby? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Bunky Baby. <laughs> yeah, let me get a steak and cheese for a bunch of Nah, you know, but bro, now, I don't know if this happened to anybody else, but I had multiple nicknames. I don't know how is that possible. Well, I mean, you meet different people and different people give you nicknames. But mine was carrying though. Like it wasn't just okay, this person to say that name. This shit was carrying, so I was having multiple nicknames that would carry over to multiple people, bruh. Like I was called Baby Bop. That shit lasts for like three, four years. Then I was called Bunk. That lasted for a couple years. And then at the end it was B. B was my last nickname. Uh, so I don't know how that I ain't never met somebody that had multiple nickname that would last for a certain amount of time, bro. That shit was weird, man. I paid that dude right down the. I'm sweet. Oh, your my fault, my fault. That's tough. Hey, I played the dude on the ones though. Yep, I'm leaving. To the state. Oh, did you block? I thought you blocked it. Did you see that? That's tough. Very early. Yeah, I tweaked the jump shot. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. You beat these dudes off the drip. That's a ooh. Okay. That even better. Good pass. Good pass. Yo, Spank, that's big. That's a good hit, boy. Cause that was a two point. Nah, that bitch getting there, dog. Prolific, what's good? Claw, I gotta get it to you. That's why I'm getting there now. <laughs> good D. Spank help me. Good pinch, Spank. That's a stop. That's a stop. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Good defense. Oh, wow. Team working defense key. I'm pinching your left. All right, you got it. Good. Good jump. That's off. That's off. Sight. Good teamwork, fellas. Good teamwork. Ooh. Okay. Did it? Late? Did it make you reach late? Oh, you was late. Uh, I reached when he came back left, but I don't know. If oh, it probably just didn't uh, register. I'm telling you, it's not the same with the wheels on the ball, like, I feel like it should, but maybe... Oh, there you go. Good, good dunk, good dunk, good pass. Hey! Very early? That's, That's he tough. Got, he, got, he got low risk on Leo. Good pick up. 
Good dunk. That's the, do I get an assist for that? Yeah. Oh, you gotta check. No. <laughs> 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 hey, uh. What's good, Jacko? Wow. Wow. <clears throat> I don't see how they didn't give you that one. Miss you anonymous. He said I always enjoy your channel, my boy. Yo, what's good, Frank? I'm back down, dog. So it's, hey, make sure you pop in, man, whenever you get a chance. Oh my goodness, close your mouth. <laughs> close. Wrap me, claw. Spank. That shit was slow. Good cut. Oh, you deep. You deep. For no reason. <laughs> yeah, them lay Them layups is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Back then, like, once you have somebody on that song, it was over. Nothing you could do. That's a stop. That's it. He missed. Yo, they didn't let you react to that. All right, let's. Rebound. Bruh, I tried to dunk the ball. Send me a pick, Klaus. Spank, go to the right corner. Good shot. Big hit. Stay with the guard. Stay with it. Yeah, he's trying to set some up. Stay with it. Good teamwork. Good. Good teamwork. That's a good shot, boy. Good box up. Oh, no. <laughs> he said, hey. Okay, appreciate it, dog, man. <laughs> Close to here, dog. That's all. All right, okay. God, yeah, I already know. <laughs> Yo, Spain was like, yeah, Claw, like, hell. No, not right now. Not right now. Let's go, man. I didn't quick stop, as they would say. I supposed to be quick stop right there. So they gave me a fade. <clears throat> Chat, what y'all think, man? Is the game you play better it's definitely better than what y'all was watching the other day i know you i know that for a fact what y'all was watching the other day boy had me in tears i was feeling sad for y'all man damn man they gotta watch me play like this they been waiting on me to come back and this is what i can give them oh man that's tough big w gameplay i appreciate it dog I right, got a game. <clears throat> and I'm only a 86 overall right now. So like this dude right here is a 97. Yeah. Wow. 
Oh, he, he a 97. I thought it said not. Yo. Let's go. I thought it said 97, but here. That's all, Claw. Well, that's a good. That's a tough one. Say it open. <clears throat> Go, Claw. Well, I was going to be mad, too. Good D. Good D. Claw, good switch. Good. Good. Oh. Box out. Good foul, boy. Good foul. I ain't gonna lie, Stan. You a little nigga on that, bro. For real. <laughs> Man. Good D. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Spank. I missed that bit. <laughs> All right, we up one. <clears throat> good try, good try. D. Good rotation. That's a good shot, Claw. Good rebound, Spank. Good pass. Bruh. Mm. Spank, back door. Peace and blessing, big. What's good? No problem. Good. That's a decent shot, though. And rebound. Still bounce along, boy. Yo, Spank, middle three point line. Claw, left corner. Okay, well, after I get it. Spank, cut to the paint. Go, go, go. <laughs> Damn, that little man holding you up like that? Damn. Good deed. Mmm. It's a big possession. Nope. Good dunk. Good hey, bucket. <clears throat> Good D. Good rotation. Great rotation. One of y'all got to stay up. Good pass back. Good teamwork. Great teamwork. Good stuff. Good D. Great, great teamwork. Great pass. Oh, you got the rebound? Good dunk. 
You gonna hit it? Goodbye. Yeah, it was. Let it cam up. I might. I gotta go get my setup. My setup is in uh, Jacksonville. A shot. Spank. A bucket. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Miami. He said the front door is working. The back doors don't work. Oh, he got baited. That's green. Let's go. Oh, I need that. Late pass, but what you gonna do with it? Alright. I'm over here holding my nuts. My bad, man. <laughs> I wanted to shoot it, dog. I ain't gonna lie. And I was on the phone the whole time. Man. <laughs> Not you trying to play too gay. My boy said he. My boy said he only got one call today, man. He trying to get it in. What's good, what's good? Back with a new video, man, and I want to say thank you. I'm grateful, man, that so many people hit me up showing their appreciation for my videos. So many people saying they can relate or they understand or they taking my experience and putting down in a notebook saying, yo, I don't want to go that route or I do want to go that route. Like for y'all to be listening, like really listening to the videos, not just skimming through some of y'all really understand where I'm trying to go and some of the mistakes I made in life that I'm trying to help prevent you from. But like I said, this Grady, the, the Grady, the greatest experience in life for anyone is to experience. You know, I can tell you all day, every day about saving your money, investing your money. But until you have burned yourself on spending careless and reckless, will you know the pain and the responsibility of money. You know what I'm saying? A person can tell you all day about something, but until you experience it, will you choose to make a difference in your life? You know, um, I had people in my corner, man, was telling me not to buy all the reckless stuff I was buying. But until I fell back and I looked at my life, you know, I was like, damn, y'all really wasting it. I'm really wasting time. The friends that people warn me about, you know, like, they really not your friend. They just your friend because you got all this stuff. You got three and four different cars. You got money. You don't never ask nobody to pay. You always talking about, yo, y'all, let's ride. I got it. It's on me. Those are why. They, that's why they're your friend. But once that stuff stop, once you say, yo, let's ride, you know, but everybody got to carry their own load, you will see they not really your friend anymore. The people that you call boyfriend, girlfriend, once it's time for you to lean on them, will it, they will they be there? You know, so it's a lot of things that I have done that was incorrect. And there's a lot of things that I have done that, you know, I think I can show you step by step. Yo, this is how I got to make a change in my life because I got up early. I started waking up at five o'clock instead of nine o'clock. You know, once I started, once I started getting up early, my life changed in a major way because I was able to be more productive. I was able to be more efficient. I was able to start my day early by planning early, by getting up early, by doing things at an early time than a later time. I was able to be more on time with my with my schedule, with my job, with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I was able to go do extra activities like go to the gym. Why? Because I started getting up at five o'clock. When I was getting up at nine o'clock, I can go do all these things that I'm doing now because I had less time. See, once we start to put our time into a process, we start managing that stuff as best as we can. Because like I said, time management is still a struggle for me, you know. And, and as I said today on one of my videos, like being patient, you know, 
Sometimes we got to be patient with our lives, man. We got to be strategic. You know what I'm saying? We got to make proper choices and, and proper decisions that going to benefit us long run, not just about now. I know we always thinking about now, how can I, how can I live the best possible life now? But sometimes, man, we're going to have to miss out on all the fucking activities, all the fun stuff for a later date. Sometimes we got to put this stuff on the back burner, man. And I just want to say I'm grateful that y'all are witnesses, witness, witnesses, witness, witnessing, witness. Y'all are witnessing my, y'all know I'm trying to say witnessing, ah, witnessing my changes, you know, and me trying to be a better person to elevate myself. It's still a struggle, bro. It's not easy. But like I said, that's the part of the process. You know, you have to be patient, you know. Um, one thing I am working on and that that is very hard for me. Um and I keep mentioning this, but to be involved with one female, that's by far one of the biggest challenges I have faced in a long time. The, the challenge before that 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 changed my life was being a single father. You know, that, that changed my life forever. You know, my life forever has changed. And I have become to be a better man because I became a single father. But now I'm faced with another challenge. And this challenge right here, man, to to be with one woman, to, to be disciplined with one woman. And the scariest thing of them all is to care for her. It's not easy, man, putting your feelings out there, bro. I don't know how, so I, I look and see how, I see people in relationship, couples and married people. I'm like, yo, how was they able to get they feelings? Like, how was they, you know, able to let they self, like, just open up to that person? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo, you got my heart, B. Like, you know, it's, it sounds weird, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the biggest challenge I'm faced with right now. And uh, y'all going to be able to witness my, my journey, man. Like I said, a lot of you guys say, man, I remember you from the assist game days when you used to play video games all the time. Now I look at you, man. You a muscular guy now. You, um, you, you know, you always in the gym. You always dropping gyms at the gyms on the videos. Like, like, look at you now. You used to be this little kid that played video games all day, every day. Now you're a grown man helping others succeed. Are you trying to strive and push others to do better? You know what I'm saying? So I'm grateful, man. And um, y'all are seeing the changes right before your eyes, bro. And that's why I say, man, we all can change. We all got the capabilities of being a better person, succeeding. Like everybody that you know is successful. They are human beings just like you. You can do the same thing or you can even do it better. You know, um, it's not a competition in life, but it's a competition within itself, you know. Me, I compete every day to be better than the man I was yesterday. And sometimes I do a horrible job. But majority of the time, I kill it. I kill it. I learn new things. I strive to be a better person. I strive to be more conductive, positive. I, I, I be more productive, you know. Like, I, I go hard, man, and try to make my life better each and every day. And like I said, sometimes... It's hard. Sometimes I, I get frustrated. Sometimes I, I want to give up, but I don't. I don't quit, bro. I don't slow down. I don't stop. I keep pushing. I keep grinding. I keep chunking at it. And then some, and, and, and I break through and I, and I like, damn. Okay, this shit easy now. Cause that's the thing. You know, the hardest part about being in the gym is going. It's going and getting started. Then once you do three or four reps, you're like, okay. Okay, this shit easy now. The harder part about going to work is getting up at five in the morning. Okay, you get up, you put your clothes on, you drive. Okay, it's easy now. It's easy now. The hardest part about reading this big ass book is starting. And you get to the middle of the book and you're like, okay, it's easy now. Yo, life ain't meant to be easy. The harder it is, the better life will be for you, man. But we have to just keep chunking at it. We have to keep grinding. We have to keep moving. And then guess what? We're going to be like, oh, it's easy now. 
Man, I love y'all. I'm grateful. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Salute. See y'all next time. If you got speed, it can counter for your poor dribbling ability. And that's what I do. I I, I counter my I counter my poor dribbling ability with speed. <laughs>